Hi guys, Flame Fish here, and welcome back to some more Dokkan Battle. And today, we're going to be taking on the newest, or I should say the two newest, Extreme Z Battles. We're going to be doing the Goku Black and Zamasu, the LR Goku Black and Zamasu EZA, um, and as well as the Trunks and Mai EZA um, in the next video here. So yeah, uh, we're going to be taking on these two right here, and they are the to the Battle of Fate category and the Legendary Power Link skill, as per usual for these LR EZAs. And oh my gosh, another thing, I'm sorry, this asset is really high quality. I don't, I don't know if that's really getting picked up on the footage, but like this is like really detailed. This is <laughs> not really used to Dokkan art being this detailed, but wow. Um, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, this is usual. LR EZA, so the Battle of Fate category characters are the ones who will be taking less damage, and the Legendary Power Link characters are the ones who will actually be dealing damage right here. So, what they want you to do here is they want you to run the, uh, the newest LR Trunks and Vegeta in here to get them done the easiest. But many of you might not actually have this Trunks and Vegeta, I was thinking, as they've only been on a couple of banners, and, you know, we've got, like, New Year's and Gohan Beast and P Orange Piccolo coming up literally next week, so, like, I know a lot of you guys are skipping for them, so... Uh, for this video, we're actually going to be taking this on without the newest LR, Vegeta, and Trunks unit. So I'll show you the team that I'm running into here. So I'm using Gohan as the leader, he's the Kamehameha leader, and running... I'm able to run a few of these int LRs on the team, and also the 7 year uh, Super Saiyan 4s, as well as in UI Goku, who will be tanking pretty well in here. Uh, not to mention, if you fall below 50%, he will transform and have guaranteed dodging within the turn. And I'm saying all this, and I've just realized that Vegeta and Trunks are not on Kamehameha or Super AGL, so I've been being dumb this whole time. Uh, hang on. Alright, ignore that. This is our new team now. I saw someone with this in the French list. So I'm going to be using the Goku as the leader instead. The Dokkan Fest, um, Buu Saga, Super Saiyan 2, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, because he's leading Battle of Fate, so... You know, it is what it is. And you could also use the SGR Kid Buu, I guess. Like, he's also a Battle of Fate leader, but... I don't think... With Vegeta and Trunks, they lead. You know, they wouldn't... Buu wouldn't be on the team. I don't know, just guys... Goku's the best leader here. Otherwise, you could use the AGL Gohan. It's just he won't be... The Vegeta and Trunks won't be on his leader skill, which is okay, because you can do this with everyone else attacking instead, but, I mean, that's how I got up to this level 5, so. Alright, let's just, just dive right on in. This should be, I don't think this is all that difficult from what I've seen. Uh, Vegeta and Trunks do pretty good damage in here, and um, haven't had too much difficulty here. But with all that out of the way, um... We're going to be talking about this Goku Black and Zamasu and just how good they are. This is a very strong unit. I'm just going to get that out of the way right now. So let's dive right on in. This is Merciless Condemnation... I think I pronounced that right. Goku Black, Super Saiyan Rose, and Zamasu. Their leader skill is Tech Type Key 4, all stats 120%. Pretty good for the Ultimate Clash or something like that. It's not really anywhere else. Uh, they're... 12 key, they raise attack for one turn, cause colossal damage to the enemy, and raises defense by 30% for three turns. That's that's good. That's that's that is really good. And then his ultra super attack, raise attack for one turn, causes mega colossal damage to the enemy, and raises defense by 30% for six turns. Uh ooh, we can see this thing. I gotta remember to play these animations, of course, of course.
That is still so <laughs> That that's still one of the best active skills in the whole game. I so cool. Um yeah, what was I saying? Um oh yeah, there so their super attack effect crazy defense for multiple turns is it's like so strong. Oh But their defensive, uh, their defense on super attack is so strong. Getting additional supers with these guys is going to be crazy because doing that, you'll you'll get like an extra defense for it. It's like I have a ton of extra defense for going into like the next few turns. So that's that is very good. That's a very strong ability that they have. So already <laughs> they're seeming pretty good uh, in their passive kill. Recovers 15% HP and wait, is that just one? Uh, let me keep it. No, 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 let me keep it. Key to and defense 50% at the start of turn, plus an additional key to defense 50%, and guards all attacks for three turns from start of turn. Attack 100% when performing a super attack, and plus an additional key one up to plus four. Okay, we're all done with the animation now. No, we're all done. We're all done. We're all done. We're all done. And attack and defense 30% up to 120% with each attack received. So that, uh, the recovering 15% HP is like at once every turn. So that, that is strong. And especially the guard for the first three turns is just crazy. So because this unit needs like a, a couple turns, you know, build up their full defense and stuff. Having the guard active right away for the first three turns is very, very strong and good for them. And they're going to have like, how much attack and defense are they gonna have? So fully built up, they're gonna have 170% defense and 120% attack with an extra attack 100% on top of that on super attack. That is like, like, that that is crazy. Like I can't even, uh, these guys are gonna be knocking out like, nine, ten million attack stats consistently. Oh, what would it be like actually? I'm, I'm pretty sure it'd even be higher than that. Yeah, no, that's, that's more like 15 million attack. And then like, yeah, that's that's more like like 12 to 15 million attack stats from them. Jeez, okay. That is a lot. And now, of course, I you all you've he heard me say it before. Wow, big number unit does big number. It's so impressive. Whatever. Yeah. So what? But what makes them different than just a unit who does big number damage is that he is also has so much other utility on top of that with his crazy high defense. He can be at like what, like 700k defense or something. <laughs> or it'd be more like um, I'm looking at it right now. It's like like around like. 500 over 500k defense but it would be around like 700k after they super attack so yeah that's really good and the guard for the first three turns is very very good i don't think that their defense will be good enough for some of the more difficult events like the highest tier like cell max or uh would you know the like the red zones I think these guys would be pretty good in the Broly red zone, actually. Um, of course, you'd have to hide them for the, you know, the STR Broly phase. But, well, you know, once you get to that AGL one, I feel like they're going to be tanking pretty well. 700k defense and type advantage, you know. 
and the HP recovery too, don't forget that. And fully built up, he's got like six key at the start of turns, so. Like you're, you're not, it's not, you're, it's not gonna be hard to like get the, like the 18 keys with him and have that extra three turns of defense. Yeah, that's just, they are really, really good. I would say that the only real pro, oh yeah, they have big bad bosses too, which is insane, but. I'd say, if anything, the only problem with them is their teams. Those being Realm of Gods, Patara, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Join Forces, and Worldwide Chaos. They're, you're not really going to run these guys unless they're next to another Zamasu or Goku Black, you know. Like LR Fusion Zamasu, who would work great next to him, yes. But... I'm going to take a good guess and say that most of you do not have that LR Zamasu. And, you know, if you don't have him, like, who are, uh, who, who would you use besides him? Um, I guess maybe Vegeta and Trunks? Though they're not going to be linking very well. Or, say, um, Int LR Goku Black is not good enough anymore. Uh, the AGL Goku Black, maybe... Oh, he needs some. He needs a few turns to be fully built up. And STR Rose is not that good. And AGL Rose has fallen off. It's just like, I don't know. Maybe after Int Goku Black or oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Int Goku Black or even the Int like the LR Rose get their Extreme Z Awakening. Then maybe in that case these guys would be a lot better. But that's all determined on, like, how good are they gonna make these easy A's, you know? And also, that's not to say this Goku Black and Zamasu are bad. No, they are incredible. Very, very good. But they, they the only issue they have is having, like, partners, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I like them. I think they need more options to run next to them other than just the LR Fusion Zamasu. But still a very, very good unit. And who's going to perform really well in, like, nearly every Super Battle Road they're, they're available in. So yeah, I like them. I like them. And of course, let me know in the comments what your guys' thoughts on them are. And let's see, we're almost done in here, I think. I think the next level is the last one. We've been moving a bit slower than I would have liked. There we go. Okay, yeah, the next one's the last one. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, uh, yeah and again, I forgot to mention this, but with these LR EZAs, you only have to get to... Uh, level 10, so that's very nice. So we'll get this wrapped up and then we will let's wrap up the video. <laughs> oh, wow, they've got their damage reduction is really crazy now. I'm just realizing that. Like, I get, I get Vegeta and Trunks aren't like the hardest hitting units ever, but like they ate that. What the heck? Yeah, look at this. <laughs> oh, now I know why the other ones were taking so long. Uh, Goku, can you crit? 30% chance. Yeah, that's right, you're right, you're good. Well, he's still not really hurting us, so... So, whenever you guys want to croak over, I'll, just, I'll be ready. Uh, ooh! Ooh, you know what? You know what would be an amazing way to end this? Now that is a good ending. So there you go. That was all 10 levels beaten. So a bit tedious, kind of long to take care of, 
but that's just how these LR Easy A's usually go. So yeah, uh, there you go. And done without the new Vegeta and Trunks as well. So there you go. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think of, you know, LR Black and Zamasu and how you fared against this Extreme Z battle. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you feel like it. I love you all, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!